from Television City in Hollywood. makes this show something special. It well, does. thank you, Glenn. It really does. And speaking of special things, here's a very special girl who came all the way out here just to be with you. That's Minnie Pearl. You mean the Nashville sex pot is That's here? Right. Oh. Na all right. Minnie says the volunteer fire department in her hometown, they named the fire truck after her because it was always ready and never called for. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to call for her right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Minnie Pearl. All right, Minnie. From the top of her bonnet to the tip of her boot There's only one description, the lady is cute She's eager and willing and loaded with class If you'll pardon the expression, the lady's a gas Now it's time to introduce you to our favorite girl The Nashville sex pot, yeah, Miss Minnie Pearl I'm just so proud to be here. 
here. I come all the way from New York City just to be here with you all. You all the way from New York City? Mm -hmm. That's a long way from Grinder Switch. Oh, I know, but it's wonderful. I, miss I never thought I'd hear you say New York was wonderful. Well, the people you like are, it? Oh, the people are so nice. Why, some of the men, oh, they're just fresh as daisies. Daisies? <laughs> and the subway. Oh, that seems to be the place where a girl can get a feller. Subway? Oh, yes, and the men are so salty. Down in the subway, a young fella come up to me without me even asking him, and he carried my purse for me. <laughs> but he got lost in the crowd before he could give it back. <laughs> but he got my phone number in it, and I know he'll call. Jimmy, you're just an incurable romantic, you know. Well, why wouldn't I be? New York City, oh, it's the most romantic city in the world. One day, I was walking, well, it was nighttime, actually. I was walking through Central Park. And there was a fella jumped out from behind the bush and started just sparking and courting me. Just, just right on the spot. You mean he attacked you? Yes. You just imagine being attacked twice in the same night. You, you were attacked twice? <laughs> well, I had to walk back the same way. <laughs> make a baby buggy? No, how do you make a buggy ba baby buggy? <laughs> <laughs> you tickle his feet. Tickle his feet. <laughs> oh, oh. Thank you, guys. Here's a guy who's been a friend for a long time. He used to do a lot of sessions with him. That's right, Mr. Mel Tilly. You know, I ain't seen what you so long. What have you been up to? Glenn, my boy, I just got my, myself a new occupation. A job. <laughs> what, what about your show business career? Oh, that's only a hobby. Oh, really? Glenn, I'm, I'm talking about honest, the manual work. <laughs> Labor. Uh, I, didn't... <laughs> I didn't know you did honest manual labor. Are you kidding? I've had all sorts of occupations. Jobs? Patience. <laughs> First of all, I was conductor on the railroad. Railroad, right. Well, why'd you give it up? I didn't give it up. It gave me up. You see, by the time... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> by the, the time I set all aboard, I, I should have been sent into the line. You got yourself a job, <laughs>
picture of you for the Grinder Switch Gazette. They're going to use it on the front page in two colors. Two colors? Bl uh, black and white. <laughs> Is that the biggest paper in Grinder Switch? No, we're the underdog newspaper. The underdog? <laughs> yeah, they ain't a dog in town. We ain't under. <laughs> oh, man. I've got my camera right oh, over here. Come in. Well, I'm glad to cooperate. Uh, just tell me what you want me to do. Oh, how about my place at 7.30? Oh. Oh. Now, just make yourself comfortable. Well, Minnie, I mean, how do you want me to pose? Why don't we pose as husband and wife and spend the weekend in Tijuana? Now, yeah, Minnie, I'm, I'm in a hurry. How about San Diego? Oh, oh, oh. Take the picture. Oh, okay. Oh, now, wait a minute. Oh, Glenn! What a setting! Come here! Come here! I want you to look. That's, that's very... That's very nice, Minnie, but we can't accomplish anything under here. Well, I could if you'd just hold still. Well... <laughs> Oh, Glenn, your hair is so soft and fluffy, and I don't even feel any hair spray. Minnie, you're running your fingers through my chest. <laughs> and, and Minnie, I got, I got some pictures. <laughs> I got some pictures in my dressing room, so... Oh, your dressing room. Oh, that's even better. Here's a nice term complication, ladies and So wingless, like they were saying, I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like thunder in the night. Hey, uh, uh, Glenn, I'd like to tell you about another job I had. Well, what was that, Melvin? Well, I wanted to, to tell you about the time that I was a car... Uh, car salesman? No, a carnival barker. <laughs> really? <laughs> Where'd you bark? Well, up the wrong tree, evidently. It, it sort of went like this. Oh? Yes, sir, folks, step right up and see Lady Cadaver, the most beautiful, wonderfulest girl in the whole world. I ain't believing I'm saying all this. You <laughs> see Lady Cadaver, ride right her horse, Bear. Oh, I like I think it's a good man. Bear back, cow. <laughs> Oh, ha. hey, what is it? Well, I got you out of here. Yeah. Do that song.
song you wrote about the evils of smoking. It's on your new album. Son, you got it. All right, rip it off. Yes, this is for all the cigarette burners and <laughs> all you nicotine fiends. <laughs> 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 Well, now there's a whole lot of talk going around today about how cigarette smoking whittles your life away. And I've seen it and heard it so many times that finally it just started to prey on my mind. I reckon it scared me a little bit. That's why I decided I was going to quit. So while I was sitting here forming my battle plan, I took another puff and <coughs> turned on the fan. <coughs> I just sat there in the easy chair thinking all the money I've wasted on cigarettes all these years. And I said, well, I don't think it'd be too tough to quit this habit. Besides, I've had enough. And with that little bit of assurance, I took another puff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I took a puff. And a puff. And I ripped off another puff. And I said, well, this ain't gonna be too tough. Besides, I've just about had enough. Because now I've given a lot of thought to this thing. If I didn't smoke, I'd feel like a king. Besides, with the price going up every day, I knew I was just throwing my good money away. You know, I ain't lit one an hour or so. <laughs> just want to make sure I could quit, you know. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I ought to write all this down, put it in a song, and sort of circulate it around. Can't ever tell them I'd be hit. <laughs> That'd help the call just a little bit. Imagine me, a hit songwriter. <laughs> Where'd I put that cigarette lighter? <laughs> Ain't nothing but a habit and a habit you can break. Just a little willpower, that's all it takes. I said to myself, boy, this ain't gonna be so tough. <laughs> With that little bit of assurance, I took another puff. <laughs> oh, I'm about ready to quit this rotten habit anyway. I'm glad they took it off of television. It looks too good. <laughs> Besides that, my idol Buck Owens, he don't smoke. He chews bubble girl. Oh, I love it, 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 I love it. No, I don't love cigarettes, now don't misunderstand me. I eat cigarettes. I despise cigarettes. I wish I could think of something bad to say about cigarettes. <laughs> Boo on cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't smoke, don't, don't, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke. Quit smoking, that'll leave more for me. <laughs> you ever quit smoking? I quit smoking. I quit smoking. My wife left me. Took my children. Took my house and left. It was a mobile home. <laughs> You got a great new record out, and it's really a beautiful thing. Thank you. It was uh, written by a fellow that's on your show a lot, Jerry Reed. <laughs> right. Well, uh, Jerry wrote it, and you're going to sing it. That makes it a hit right there. So why don't you do it, and Jerry and I will go over and eat our hearts out. I'll kick me. A thing called love. <laughs> Six, he stood on the ground He weighed 235 pounds Saw that giant of a man Brought down to his knees by love mm. He was the kind of a man That would gamble on luck Look you in the eye and never back up I saw him crying like a little whip Because of love You can't see it with your eyes Hold it in your hand But like the wind that covers our land Strong enough to rule the heart of any man This thing called love It can lift you up, never let you down Take your world and turn it all around Ever since time nothing's ever been found Stronger than love struggle and doubt they trouble their minds day in and day out they're busy with the living to worry about a little thing like love 
But when I see a mother's tenderness As she holds a young close to her breast Then I thank God that the world's been blessed With a thing called love You can't see it with your eyes Hold it in your hand But like the wind that covers our land Strong enough to rule the heart of any man This thing called love It can lift you up Never let you down Take your world and turn it all around Ever since time nothing's ever been found Stronger than love Ever since time nothing's ever been found Stronger than love Yeah, and here's that woman that I love Ladies and gentlemen, June Carter spiritual with us reach up and grab a handful ain't no need to worry no need to cry god's gonna bless you by and by you'll be blessed when the lord gets through i found out if you'll take one step you'll take two ain't no need to worry no need to cry God's gonna bless you, God's gonna bless you. By, and by, by and by You'll be blessed, you'll be blessed. When the Lord gets through I found that if you'll take one step He'll take two No need to worry No need to cry God's gonna bless you By and by You'll be blessed When the Lord gets through I found that if you'll take one step, he'll take two. The Lord moves in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. He plants his feet on every sea and rides on every storm. No need to worry, no need to cry. God's gonna bless you by and by. Get through. I've found out if you'll take one step, you'll take two. Oh, boo! Don't need to worry. Don't need to cry. Don't need to cry. God's gonna bless you. By and by, you'll be blessed. You'll be blessed. When the Lord gets through, I've found out if you'll take one step, you'll take two. The Lord. job as a dog trainer once. Have you still got all your dogs? No, I don't uh, have them anymore. Glenn, I, I'll tell you why, because my wife wouldn't feed them, so I had to get rid of them, all except <coughs> one. A <laughs> one? Skull side. Skull side? Skull side. How'd you get the name of Skull side? Well, one day, uh, Doris was uh, picking some uh, chickens. You know, you had to scald them. Yeah. You know, dip them, and pull them out, <laughs> and pick the chickens. And she was uh, picking this chicken, and she finished, and she uh, took the Wadder and threw it out the back door and hit my dog. <laughs> and it took all the hair off of one, one side. side of him. And it, the hair never did come right back. <laughs> so we named him old Skull Side. One day, old Skull Side and I was out hunting, and he was on the chasing 
rabbits. <laughs> old Skull Side, I got on a fox's trail, a fox smart. Yeah. He took him up the hill and down the hill and threw a, a sawmill. Yeah. There was a sawyer there, sawing a log. <laughs> and old Skull Side was going at such a terrible pace, he ran right through the saw. The saw? Right through it, cut him in half, one half over there, another half over there. <laughs> I didn't do a, a thing in this world, but I pick up some sawmill glue. Yeah. Pick the skull side up and put some glue there and put it And I glued him back together and he took off. Run. Well, uh, only one thing wrong. What? I glued two legs up and two legs down. <laughs> and uh, skull side is still a runner. He uh, never gets uh, tired. I'll tell you the reason. Why, I know he never gets tired. I heard him one night, and he'd been out for, for 30 days. <laughs> and I knew it was called, so I, I said, Doris, I hear old skull side. She said, how do you know? I looked out there, and there, there was. He had run on two legs for a while, and flip over and run on the other two. <laughs> Here's a song that was made famous by Don Gibson, later on by Ray Charles. Oh, born to lose. Born to lose. I've lived my life in vain. Heart. He's in love 
whatever day's Thanksgiving To count all my blessings I wouldn't know where to start Every time I look you over So real to life it seems Upon your pretty shoulders There's a pair of angel wings Easy loving Seeing's believing Life with you's like living In a beautiful dream Every time I look you over, so real to life it seems. Upon your pretty shoulders, there's a pair of angel wings. Easy loving, seeing is believing. Life with you's like living in a beautiful dream. you started telling me about? Glenn. It's, it's, Hoss, it's perfect for me. Uh, I'm going to be an auction. Auction leader? No, an auction, uh, auctioneer. That's it. <laughs> there ain't a way, man. Oh, yes, there is a way. I know I can't say it if I talk it, but I can say it if, but I can say it if I sing it, but I can, if I, I can say it if I sing it. Well, give me a for instance. Oh, to the lady in the funky hat. What? And a fifty dollar bid. What? You better go with her, Glenn. What are you doing? I just sold you, son. <laughs> Hey, Buck. Hi. Well, sir, let's do some of that uh, picking and grinning that you do on Hee Haw, okay? Okay, let's do it. You ready? Three, ready. four. Hey, Buck, do you hear about my cousin Leroy? He got, he got a divorce due to illness. A divorce due to illness? Yeah, his wife got sick of him. <laughs> Last week I come home at four in the morning. My old lady just hit the ceiling. Was she mad? No, she just allowed the shot. Oh. <laughs> Glenn, you know I paid five thousand dollars for a new doll. He's part German Shepherd and part bull. Which <laughs> part's the bull? The part about the five thousand dollars. <laughs> had to give away his new watchdog. Why? It ate his watch. Oh! <laughs> hey, Glenn, where were you last night? Didn't you know about the dance in the gym? I thought they said the John. John! <laughs> Sing your new song. You get ready and I'll introduce it. Okay? I'll do it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here with the Buckaroos, Mr. Buck Owens.
When you've climbed every mountain there is to climb When at last you've sailed every sea When your heart grows heavy And you're down on the street Suddenly you remember bring me When you felt every hurt There is Every song When you think Your world Has come to a I'll still be waiting For you I'll still be waiting For you do some of the best country music impressions I ever heard. How about doing Marty Robbins? No, no, you know the one of them impression freaks. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, no, I love impressions. I really do. Truthfully, I can't hardly do a show without getting asked for them anymore. I know what you mean. Do a little Marky. <clears throat> okay. I told Mary about I told her about Mary Christ forgave me Mary took me back again <laughs> That big eight wheel rolling down the track, and he's a couple of them that ain't a talking back to mine. Oh dear, my son, take a big thing. You were blind as high as a mile in the low sky, and I'm looping all the way up. That's a little rough. Hey, what? You gotta do Buck Owen. Okay, do Buck. Oh, the sun's gonna shine in my Why don't you do Johnny for me? Johnny yeah. Cash, he'd kill yeah. me. I'll do it. Now, we'll, we'll, come on, let's do it. Do, do Johnny Cash. I'll tell you what, you keep an eye out for him, I'll try. We'll okay. watch for him. Okay. okay. Here we okay, go. Miss. We got married in a fever. <laughs> Country medley with a boy named Sue.
Well, my daddy left home when I was three. He didn't leave very much for my mom and me. Took his old guitar and an empty bottle of food. Now, I don't blame him because he run and hid, but the meanest thing that my daddy ever did was before he left, he wouldn't name me Sue. Well, he must have thought that it was quite a joke, and it got a lot of laughs from lots of folks. Seems I had to fight my whole life through. Some gal would giggle and I'd turn red, and some guy'd laugh and I'd bust his head, I'll tell you. Life ain't easy for a boy named Sue.
And here's a great country song that I like. Made famous by Ray Price. Written by Chris Christopherson. Don't look so sad. I know it's over. But life goes on. And this old world will keep on turning. Let's just be glad we had some time to spend together. There's no need to watch the bridges that we're burning. Lay your head up on my pillow. Hold your warm and tender body close to mine. Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft. Against the window and make believe you love me one more time for the good time. The good time. I'll get along and you'll find another. And I'll be here if you should find you ever need me. Don't say a word about tomorrow or forever. There'll be time enough for sadness when you leave. One more time for the good time. Thank you very much. Well, that's our country music show. I certainly want to thank all my wonderful guests tonight for being with us. The song Easy Lovin' and I Saw the Life were previously recorded. Join Glenn on his next show, and his guests will be Buddy Hackett and John Bynum. <laughs>